Right, so today we're going to actually assemble the clutch pack onto the uh, gearbox that we've already done. And then hopefully we're going to attach the spur gearbox, this big lump here, onto that. So there's a few things we've got to do first. We've already assembled the, the clutch operating mechani mechanism onto, onto the gearbox. That is working. So now we've got to assemble, as I said, the clutch pack, which is this big lump here. Um, it's a 22 plate Healy Shaw type clutch. So there's 22 plates and the plates aren't flat. They've got a, like a, a, a pyramid section to them, or a conical section if you like, and that gives it more surface area. So you've got more grip and it takes the power from the engine a lot better. But first off, we've got to build the whole clutch pack assembly onto the gearbox. So we're going to start off with this aluminium cover, which we're going to put on now. That slides on here. Right the way up the back. Then we've got this plate here, which is almost an oil flinger come spacer for the clutch pack. Now this is quite tight, so we might have to persuade it on a bit. Shall we heat it up a bit, Phil? Yeah. Just to make sure it's a bit easier. Just a little bit of heat expands it, so it's uh, hopefully it'll slide onto the shaft relatively easily. might have to persuade it the last little bit before we can get the nut on. All right, Phil, let's give that a go. in at the bottom a bit. And just give it a gentle tap. Right. You want a bit of the tab washer on. Right. Okay. So now all we've got to do is fold the tab washer over to lock that in place and that's done. Next. Right, so we've got a whole clutch pack there. We've got the two keyways there. It's on a taper. We're all ready to go. Everything's clean. Just slide it on then, Phil. Yeah. Just need to go up a touch, I think. Ah, yeah. There you go. There's the tab washer. We've got some thread showing there, haven't we? Yep. Yeah. I think that tab washer is meant to be bent down at the bottom. Down there. Yeah, it needs a right angle on it. So that's on there. Two together in there. Yeah, basically. So with the job, we've had to make a lot of specialist tooling um, to do this. You can't get a normal spanner in there to undo it. there I think that isn't it right yeah yep. good right so are we square there so the next part is to put the actual drum on which slides up the clutch plates 
I don't know if that gasket's better off on the on the on the uh, aluminium casting. It's not going to get in the way as we go up. So those lines are going to line up with that. Can you see what's going on miles away? Got to go down that hole there. Um, right. right now. Ooh. Yeah. So needs to come that way a touch, I think. It's not in line there, is it? Right, that's a bit easier than it used to be, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's a little taper the wire for. Right, so somewhere on here we should have a number stamped. On that flange there, I think it is. There's a three there. Three, yeah. So that'll probably do, so long as we've got a three on here. So, the last part of the transmission puzzle is to attach the spur gear unit. That's the unit where both engines come in on this main big spur gear, which drives the little gear in the bottom, which drives the main clutch then the gearbox, then the bevel drive, and then out to the spro sprockets on the chassis, chain driven to the rear wheels. So all we've got to do is attach that to the uh, clutch drum. So we've got a couple of bolts ready, Phil, so we can line them up. That's a steady bar, because all the weight's on it. Okay. It's going to try and fall off, which it probably will anyway. You know, we've got to hold it all up. You know, it's all right when it's in the car because it's all mounted on these brackets. But while it's not in the car, it's a bit of a nightmare. It gets a bit wobbly. Okay, so if we roll this upright, all we can do is go for it. Right. Rotate it until it gets in the hole. Yep. Yeah, we've got to get it on that flange as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's loosely fitted at the moment. We've still got to rotate everything, do all the nuts and bolts up, put the steady in properly, and then we can fill all the units up with oil, put the lids on finally, and then that's ready for the car.